Welcome to using WordPress, creating an affordable website that search engines will love. Well, as we went through the last video, you uh, hopefully set up a WordPress.com account, and I am here now at WordPress.com. I entered my user ID, and here I entered my password. Now we're going to log in. I'm going to cover everything in the dashboard in this, uh, which is what we're looking at right here when you first log in. You're actually going to be looking at the WordPress homepage at the top of your screen. Drift your mouse over to My Account and click on Global Dashboard. First thing on the page is an announcement from WordPress. Under that, in the section called Your Stuff, you'll find links to your most recent posts. What's hot displays links to the hottest posts, blogs, as well as the newest content. Now go over to the left side of the screen and click on Blog Stats, which you'll find right there. This page will be very important to you once you have content on your site. And I on purpose uh, used a brand new site just so that our page is going to look almost identical. Uh, you'll see a great chart here that will show the number of people going to your site. And refers are people that were nice enough to link to your site. Top posts and pages display data on which of your posts people are visiting the most. Search engine terms will display the keywords people use in search engines to get to your site. Clicks displays a list of your most popular links. And the final bit of data can be found under blog stats. Here you can find information on how busy your site is, information on your own activity, and the number of people who subscribe to be notified every time you make a change to your site. A brief explanation may be in order here. Posts are the individual articles you have put on your website. By default, WordPress provides the readers of your site the opportunity to comment on each of your articles. This option can be withdrawn if you like. Categories provide an organizational structure to your site. Let's say I plan to talk about marketing and cats on my website, for example. It would make a sense to separate these two things into separate categories so that people who visit my site can easily choose which subject is important to them. By separating my information into separate categories, I give them that ability. Tags provide you with the ability to assign keywords to each of your posts. This is a great way for you to allow people to search through your site and find exactly what they want. If you associate the tag turtle, for example, to one of your posts, people will be able to click it and find all posts you have written about turtles. And by using tags, you will also increase your odds of ranking well with search engines. So take the time and use tags throughout your entire site. The final bit of data on the blog stats page refers to email subscribers. You can set up a system in which those who choose can be sent an email every time you post a new article. And on this page, you'll see how, pe how many people have chosen to be alerted. And now click on the link blog surfer, which is located on the left hand side of your screen. Right there. Got it. And here you'll be able to search and track blogs uh, that are of interest to you. And click on the link in the left titled My Comments. This page will show you all the comments you have made on other people's WordPress blogs. And if you click on read matic you'll be taken to a page that displays the top news posts made currently by uh, the WordPress community. Tag Surfer provides you with an ability to see posts that uh, others write about uh, in regards to the same topics that you do. You find Tag Surfer also on the left. And let's say you want to see all the articles that are currently being written in regards to marketing. All you do is type marketing in here, click on add, and you'll see a list here of all the current blog, current articles in regards to marketing. And if you decide you don't want to track marketing anymore, just click on this X next to marketing, and it is gone. And now we'll move on to the My, my Blogs area. And uh, you'll be taken to a page, as you see here, that lists every blog that you have hosted on WordPress. You can use this page to quickly jump to stat pages, set up a system to automatically post your post to Yahoo Updates and or Twitter, and set up a way to post to your blog just by sending an email. And I'll cover these topics in uh, future posts.
On the final link under dashboard, you'll find subscriptions, which you can find right here. By subscribing to a blog, uh, you have chosen to receive an email every time someone makes a change to their blog. You can see here how somebody can do that in regards to your blog. You may have or not have noticed that there are drop-down boxes across the top of your screen. One of those links is called My Account, and you can find that right here. And what we're going to do now is actually look at the profile page, and it has some personal information here. So I'm going to actually jump to a JPEG with that personal information blocked out, as you can see right here. And here you'll find a reference to what is called an API key. This series of letters and numbers is a password of sorts, and we will use that in a later post to set up a spam blocking tool named Kismet. Don't worry about that at this time. Under personal options, leave the visual editor box unchecked and choose the color palette of your dashboard if you like. Keyboard shortcuts will be of use when your website is getting a large number of comments. Refer back to that when that day comes. Browser connection option provides you with the ability to add a layer of security whenever you log on to WordPress uh, on your dashboard. If you choose to use what is referred to as HTTPS, Every time you make an update to your site, these changes will be encrypted or coded or what have you before they're sent. The only negative to using HTTPS is that it will take longer to update your site. And the next two options allow you to change your specified language, as you can see right here, and assign you your primary blog, which you will find here. And by primary, we're basically just referring to the blog that you plan on making the most posts to. Also, WordPress comes pre-installed with a great grammar checker, and you can decide here under proofreading what errors you want WordPress to check for, and the information under name and contact info is quite self-explanatory. Make sure you fill in as much information as possible here, and AIM, Yahoo, IM, Jabber, Google Talk are all instant messaging clients, and if you know what they are, and you have one, and one of those contact you through them, enter that information here. And if you need to change your password, you can actually find that down here at the bottom of the page. Just enter in a new password, and of course hit update profile. And the final two options available to you on the profile page um, are the My Gravatar and My Location. My gravit a gravatar is simply an image that you want to represent you in, in your post, and you can set up a system in which this image will represent you not only on your blog, but also other social networking sites, and I'll describe gravatars in a later video. Geotagging can be enabled if you want to give others very specific data on your location, and I'm actually referring to latitude and longitude information. If this sounds great, go for it, and I may cover that subject in a later post. And there are three final links provided under the My Account page found in the upper left-hand corner of your browser window. I'm actually going to switch back to the actual thing. And this is what I'm referring to when I mean the My Account section. You can click on Support if you have any questions on using WordPress, and Support is obviously found right. If you click on the WordPress.com listing, which you'll find right here, that'll take you to the WordPress homepage. And of course, log out would be used if you want to log out of your account, if you're on a public computer somewhere, or if you just want to do that at home. And the only link left to cover is the link labeled Tools. If we go back one page and click, this is where you find Profile, this is where you'll find Tools. And here you can decide if you want to install Gears on your home computer. Never do this on any other computer other than your own. As it states, Gears allows you to install your site content on your home computer. If installed, your interactions with your WordPress blog will receive a speed increase. And the reason why is everything is essentially going to be saved on your own computer. And finally, here you have the option to set up a system that will allow you to post your blog by sending an email. And you can see this right here. And if that would be of interest to you, what it will actually do is set up a private email. You drop an email and it will automatically shoot up onto your blog page. And that basically completely covers all the options found both under the global dashboard and my account categories. And in the next video, I'll cover everything you ever wanted to know about posting articles. And in the other videos, everything else about WordPress. Look forward to seeing you there.